Hello, my name is Mark Mahalik. I'm an automation specialist with Kendall Electric, and today it's my pleasure to introduce you to the PowerFlex 750 series of low voltage variable frequency AC drives. Highlighting the 750 series is the PowerFlex 753 and the PowerFlex 755. The PowerFlex 750 series shares very similar components and option modules. Aside from the standard HIM module, that is inserted and slid down and locked into place, we also have our option modules. These option modules are designed to be slot base and when you take off the cover of your 750 series drive, you can see that there are tabs for the alignment and uh, placement of these option modules. On the 755 series drives, there are more option slots available up here. To line them up, you just line up the copper with the section that it slides into and you firmly slide it into place. There are retention screws so that you lock your option modules into place and you have multiple option slots for it depending on what devices you need to connect to. To remove your option module, you will back out these set screws and then pull the option card straight out. When you're done, you will close the lid. There is a screw to lock the lid down, and you can put your cover back on your drive. And your drive is back to being ready to run. Common attributes across the 750 series family is the slot-based mechanical architecture to support the addition of I.O., control, and encoder type of feedback into the drive. Ease of programming through Studio 5000, Connected Components Workbench, or the HIM, a high definition LCD digital display, also referred to as the Human Interface Module, or HIM. They also provide predictive diagnostics for your facility and offer the premier integration that comes with the Logix Studio 5000 environment, including to SIP Motion. The ease of use of these drives are really hammered home by how simple these are to configure and operate. The drives feature a HIM or HIM module that has a wizard built in to help initiate the initial startup of these drives. Additionally, add-on profiles and add-on instructions in Studio 5000 add to the flexibility of these PowerFlex drives. And finally, advanced diagnostics capabilities can keep your employees informed as to when certain components may be close to failure on these drives or in your machine. The PowerFlex 753 series of drives offers global voltages from 200 to 690 and includes a wide range of power output from half horsepower to 350 horsepower. Additionally, the 753 features volts per hertz, sensorless vector, flux vector, and permanent magnet motor technology for control mechanisms. They also include three digital inputs that are embedded on the main control board of the 753. Additionally, the 753 comes embedded with a standard DSI port for communications. Additional adapter cards for your communications are available. And finally, these 753s do have an availability to use safe torque off or a safe speed monitor for these drives to feature a safety in these architecture class drives. The PowerFlex 755 also features an embedded Ethernet port which you can use to control SIP motion and servo axes with the 755, a feature not available in the 753. The 755 also has an ability to take a absolute encoder. This is done by the universal feedback board into the PowerFlex 755. The 753 is only available with incremental encoders. Also a feature set of the 755 is torque proof, which is utilized in lifting and hoisting applications. The 755 also has a broader power spectrum, reaching out to 2000 horsepower at the top end 480 volt. The 755 also features the ability to uh, use 
global voltages, whether it's in the 200 volt class all the way up to 690 volt class as well. And finally, the PowerFlex 755 does feature both a wall mount and a floor mount construction to fit your application and installation needs. The PowerFlex 750 series drives has many option slots available. The 755 has five option slots, whereas the PowerFlex 753 has three option slots. These can be used from anything from communications, safety, feedback, or I.O. Also, you can have an auxiliary power supply to maintain control voltage on the drive during the event of a power cycle. And finally, one of the major differences you may see in the 750 and 753 drive is how they handle feedback. The 753 is stuck with only using incremental encoder feedback. The PowerFlex 755 has the ability to use an absolute encoder for its feedback. This comes into key when you need to have a homing routine or if you need to have an absolute encoder for any kind of safety or application needs. Since the PowerFlex 755 and 753 are very similar in terms of hardware and mechanical, the real distinction will come within the application. If the application calls for servo control or accuracy, or has some type of lifting or hoisting, then the PowerFlex 755 is the drive to use. For all other applications, please refer to your Kendall Electric Specialist or Account Manager to help you pick out and size your VFD. Thank you for watching our Quick Connect video. If you would like more information regarding today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest to you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you and see you on our next Kendall Quick Connection.